Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm the soul teacher and I'm here today to do your Mercury retrograde reading. Now, um, we've all been dreading Mercury retrogrades for as long as we can remember because it's just, it's difficult. You know, it's like we don't communicate properly and there's always problems with your technology and things are just going haywire. So I thought, I think it would be a great idea to ask Spirit to show us how Mercury Retrograde is actually helping us and bringing in positive things for us. So this is what this reading is all about. Um, oh, we have a jumper and it is blessed. See, this is what Mercury Retrograde is bringing in for us. Lots of blessings. Um, Mercury is going retrograde on the, uh, sorry, the 30th of January, right after the full moon. And it's going direct again on the 21st of February. So it's not a very long time as well. Oh my goodness, you just keep on having jumpers. We have time for nap. We'll see what comes out now, Capricorn. Okay, so the first one is the energy you bring to this retrograde. <laughs> no place like home. Okay, so this is where you're at. This is what you bring into this retrograde phase is there's no place like home. So let's see how this is going to play out in your reading. Um, the readings have been really cool. Um, it's very to the point because I ask very specific questions. So I've, I've, I'm really enjoying these readings a lot and it's, it's very insightful, it's really, really cool. So let's see Capricorn, what Mercury has in store for you. Just going to give it a few shuffles. Okay. So, first up, the, um, how Mercury retrograde will potentially influence you. Please note the potentially, because remember, it's that's what tarot and oracle is all about it's something that spirit uses to either tell you or warn you listen where this is going is not necessarily going to end up in a great place and then you can change it or this is something where spirit uses um what spirit uses to tell you listen there's something really really cool coming in for you please be ready for it and look look for it and then you can grab it with both hands so this is the potential and you must See that and feel it however it resonates with you in your situation, in your life. Okay, inner work that needs doing how to rest and slow down because Mercury isn't really moving backwards. It's simply slowing down and we're moving past it. So it seems to us that Mercury is moving backwards, but it isn't. It's just slowing down. So that's one of the things that Mercury comes in with for us is to teach us how to slow down and how to rest for a little bit. Something you need to reevaluate, something you need to rethink. And then the last one, I... Um, draw from the enchanted map oracle because the question for this one is um how to navigate through this time with ease and grace and i thought the enchanted oracle map would be the perfect deck to use specifically for this and it, it has been it's been beautiful what's been coming out here okay so the question is how to navigate through this time with ease and grace okay so let's get into your reading, Capricorn. Oh, how Mercury retrograde will, will potentially affect you. And we have the heart chakra. So, <laughs> no place like home. If you're happy where you are, it is inevitable for your heart to open up. It has to open up. Because the moment you connect with peace and happiness and joy and whatever, um, you connect so much easier and so much stronger with source energy and that opens your heart so it's that is beautiful capricorn i like that okay in a work that needs doing memories of love this is the six of cups so it is um, nostalgia it's past relations relationships coming in uh, coming back um and it, when i say past relationships i don't necessarily mean um from this life even it can it can even be a relationship from a past life reuniting with with a past love um maybe 
because you need to do your inner work, you need to see, did I let that person go because I was afraid or did I let the person go because it really was what I thought it was? That Because it's in the position of, of inner work, um, you can even use that card to say, um, why did I not give this person a chance? Was it because I'm scared or was it because it really wasn't the right thing to do? That's your inner work, Capricorn. Please take this, how it resonates with you and how you feel it fits into your life. How to rest and slow down. Patience. Have patience. The world is the world around you is not necessarily moving at the same pace as you are, Capricorn. And if you have patience and you sit there and patiently wait, is that not resting and slowing down? <laughs> That's that's quite cool. Next one is what you need to reevaluate. Yeah, it's wow. <laughs> this ties in perfectly with this card that I what I felt is and maybe that's why um your heart chakra is being worked on because you need to see what you need to reevaluate why you've been moving on. Why did I move on from this relationship? Was it the right thing to do? Should I revisit the relationship again? Should I try to rekindle this relationship again? You need to reevaluate the moving on from something. It might be something, it might be someone. It depends on how it resonates with your life. Next one is something you need to rethink your intuition. Okay, so this this is something that I have really felt very strongly for you specifically, Capricorn, over the last few readings, actually, is this is something that you need to rethink. Now, because um, sometimes, specifically when you're a very spiritually awake person, not necessarily a very awake person, but when you're spiritually orientated and you tend to listen to your guidance and your intuition, sometimes... When fear comes in and, and you really block something out of your life, of your heart, of whatever, then your ego can sometimes very strongly sound like your intuition. You need to listen to the softer voice. Don't listen to the scream. The scream is going to say, oh, hell no, I'm not doing this. I am not looking at this relationship again. The softer voice would say, Capricorn? Don't you think it's time to see what this was really about? So instead of listening to the scream and thinking it's your intuition, please think about, rethink the messages you've been getting, Capricorn. Wow, I just saw that you have four major arcanas. Well, it's a chakra card, but on your table. So this is quite an important message that you're getting, Capricorn. Last one is how to navigate through this time with ease and grace. Be wide open. Go, it goes straight back to that. And it goes comes to a number six, which is balance. And six is also... Um, um, oh, you have another one. This is also a six. So you've got three sixes on the table, Capricorn. This means that how wherever this mercury retrograde is sending you is if this is the right path for you to take but if you don't if you're not wide open and you don't you don't listen to actually hear um if you listen to react and you don't listen to understand or to hear the message you won't get the message capricorn this is a very very important message for you goodness gracious capricorn i'm wishing you a very successful mercury retrograde season um, I'll be back very soon with another fun reading. I wish you lots of love and light. Take care.